Well, the president has already brought the number down, right? He's already he's already said it is not going to be that. So you're not going to be able to have all of these things you just described. This is what makes, I think, covering, covering okay, what's in the bill? Aspirationally, that is what you described. But there isn't a bill yet, and the president is not fighting for the full bill anymore. He seems to be trying to figure out what, what a compromise is that can keep everybody at the table. So I am asking you this. That compromise... It is not going to have everything, everything that you just described in there. There's going to be something that, that gives. Is means testing something you're open to? Well, I would just say, actually, we winnowed down our priorities. We don't have a big laundry list of 8,000 things. We have five things that I mentioned. And those things I do think will be in this bill. And I think that they will be in this bill, but probably for shorter periods of time, funded for shorter periods of time. And that is mm -hmm. the important piece that we're getting at. You know, we've had, I think you and I have had this means testing conversation. So much of the means mm -hmm. testing we've done in America has been absolutely, um, you know, really not constructed in a way that allows people, that the very most vulnerable people to participate. Incredibly complex, drives people away. The research shows that, that the most vulnerable are actually the most affected when you put a whole bunch of restrictions on. And by the way, it costs a lot of money administratively to get somebody right. to actually go through a 23-page form. So we think there are much more simple ways of doing this. For example, a 7% cap on income, uh, of income um, for child care would be a way of saying if you have to spend 7% of your income. So guess what? If you're a millionaire, it's you're never going to get a government subsidy because it's child care is never going to cost that much. But the school teacher that's earning $68,000 in Seattle will get a child care subsidy from the government to help her be able to get back to work. And that's I think the kind of smart um, policy that we need to put mm -hmm. in place.